boys and girls, we are going to read a book today called I Can Follow the Rules. That's the title, the name of the book. It was written by Molly Smith, she's our author, and it was illustrated by Julia Patton. She drew the picture, so she's the illustrator. Looking at the cover, I see a poster and it says Our Classroom Rules. Number one, use your inside voice. Number two, Use your walking feet. Number three, use your listening ears. Number four, take turns and share. Number five, be kind to one another. Those sound very similar to my classroom rules. We also follow adult and teacher directions, hopefully the first time. And we keep our hands, our feet, and any other objects to ourselves. We use kind words. That's part of being kind to one another. We work during work time and we stay in our assigned area. This year, we wear our masks and we use social distancing. Let's read more about this book, I Can Follow the Rules. Anya, I yelled across the room. Do you want to play with me? Remember the rules, Eva, said Miss Jan. Please use your inside voice. Oh, I like that. She's got one finger in front of her mouth. She's giving the quiet finger. So I ran over to talk to Anya. Slow down, Eva, said Miss Jan. Use your walking feet, please. Have you ever heard a teacher say that? Use your walking feet? We have rules to keep us safe. Walking feet is important. If you run, you may fall. Rules, 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 I mumbled. We're not allowed to do anything. We are allowed to play dress up, said Anya. Here, you can be the hero. Anya buried herself in blocks. Help me, Super Eva, she cried. I came running super fast. Then I tried to leap over the super leap over top of the dollhouse. My super toe caught on the roof. Crash, smash. Miss Jen came over. What happened? She asked. I was super Eva and I was running and then I was leaping and then I fell, I explained. We want you to have lots of fun, said Miss Jan, but we also have rules so you will be safe. I'm sorry, I said. All oh, those are using nice words. I'm sorry, I said. I will follow the rules. I know you can, said Miss Jan. Then Anya gave me a big hug and I remembered our last classroom rule. Be kind to one another. And that's the best rule of all. So even though we can't hug each other at school, we can still be kind to each other. Being kind means that you're gonna use your kind words, your nice words. Please, thank you, excuse me, I'm sorry. Instead of telling somebody to shush, you might put your finger up towards your mouth. Don't touch your mouth, there's germs. But you could put your finger up towards your mouth and just give them a little quiet shh signal. We don't have to say the shh part. We don't have to make the noise. Just put the quiet finger near your mouth and that sometimes will help them remember that we use our inside voice. That's a way of being kind too, helping your friends remember the rules. Are these children following rules? You think so? Well, how can you tell?
How do you feel after you've broken a rule? What could happen if people didn't follow rules? We need the rules to keep us safe and to help everything work smoothly. Thank you for reading this book with me.